Hi guys, I hope you've been all enjoyed the soothing sounds of the metro here. <laughs> Welcome on in everybody. Holy shit, I've missed you guys. I think I think everything's working, I hope. If it's not, I'm gonna just cry. But let, let's start with thanking Bean Man for the resub. Not only that, but um, you know, Alucard for being first. Hazard for the, the extra reverb, Bean Man for the second, Hazard for the third, Tugboat, everybody, welcome in, holy shit, it's been a long time coming. I've, I've been hosting a good friend of mine who is visiting from the UK, and um, it, it, was, it was a good time. Um, we got a lot done, we got a lot of mini painting done, we got a lot of terrain building done, two freaking solid D&D sessions. Holy shit. Lots happened in that time frame, so... Yeah. 
It does feel good to be back in the streaming saddle, though. Um, although, my headset is, like, super against me right now. I don't know why. Anyways, right now we're going to be doing um, a Mon Mon solo run in World 3. Um, I've been following the list um, of, of goodies that folks have redeemed. <laughs> Thank you, Tug. Thank you. Um, and with that, um, I am hopefully going to actually beat this one this time. Um, and then after that, I'll be able to move on to Gilmon. Or if I die, I'll be able to move on to Gilmon anyway. But that's yeah, fine. That's fine. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Bay. How you doing? Just rent him on eyebrow, that shit, because it's my boy, my man, my homie, the Tugboat Williams. Uh, how is everybody doing anyways? Like, holy shit, it's been uh, 12 days, 12 days since I last streamed. Wild, man, wild. Let me catch up on chat anyways. So, um, we had a couple of gambles, rip on the gamble all, Alucard. Um, rip on Bean Man's Gamble All. Rip on Tugboat's Gamble All. God damn, everybody, everybody's just losing. You've turned 20? Yo, congrats, Bean Man. Big congrats. I'm so, um, happy for you for reaching the second decade of your life. Um, I am actually about to reach 25 myself here in about, um, 12 days, I think? Is that how many days are in January? 12, 13 days, however many the fucking days there are. Um, it, it's wild stuff. I feel like I'm close to 30, and that's just making me scream inside. Um, let me see, do I have any... I do have a name. <laughs> I don't know who redeemed this name, but it's the next one on the list for this game. Fart Lord. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I think it's Tugboat. I really do think it's Tugboat. Okay. Time going, Mon Mon. Officer, I swear he said he was 19. That's illegal. Bean Man, don't you go be lying to me. I, I check ID, okay? I check ID before I serve any content to my viewers. And if you're lying to me, if you're not 20 and you're actually 19, I'm gonna have to have Tugboat kick you out even though y'all are married. <laughs> Your knees feel like you're 90. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll let you slide in. For that fact alone. <laughs> I feel old too. Like, my back feels like I could give out any fucking second from just sitting here. But, in my defense, I've had a refrigerator fall on my back. So, yeah. You turned 20 on the 15th. Yo, congrats. That was five days ago. You're five days into being 20. Nah, I believe you. I'm just giving you shit. I have to give you shit because it's been... I, I don't remember the last time I seen you, dude. I really don't, and I feel bad for that. You turned 25 on the 3rd of July? I was gonna say, Tug, if your birthday was after mine, 35 of March should be hyped. <laughs> you might throw out your back doing so. That's how I fucking feel. Like, I, I'm on the cusp of that age where your health is just on a full-on decline. Like, yeah, I get it. This is supposed to be, like, one of the healthiest years of, of your lives, you know, but it, I don't feel it. I feel tired all the time. I feel all my bones are achy. My ankle cracks every time I take a step. <laughs> I don't think that's normal. I should probably get that checked out, but insurance here is kind of whack. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. Your phone broke towards the end of December, so you fell off the earth. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad that you somehow forgot it fixed or replaced. Because phones are kind of important. I feel like my phone is also on the cusp of breaking as well. Because I think I told you guys this is the story already, but um, how I set it on a rice burner on accident and it kind of fucked the camera. I think I fucked more than just the camera. <laughs> it overheats way too easily now, and it's just... It's probably gonna explode. It's probably gonna explode in my hands one of these days. 
You're saving money. You plan on buying the Genshin Impact Hu Tao Limited Edition phone. Holy shit. I know nothing of Genshin Impact, but that sounds expensive. <laughs> uh, by, by the way, we did reach 300 followers last time I streamed, um, which is freaking wild. Um, I plan on having a capped subathon around my birthday time if I can get the time off. Um, that'll be exciting. If I can't get it around my birthday time, I might have to put my plans for the subathon towards the end of the month or like the start of March because um, I, my coworker is actually having a child. So um, I am most likely going to be covering for him. But I'll see what I can do. I do plan on having a uh, subathon around that time, which will be pretty exciting because I've never done one. I've done 24 hour streams, but not those. Genshin Impact, these nuts. Um, ouch, first of all. And second of all, rip your poor nads. <laughs> Look, you, you're too uptight. You know you can laugh, kick back, and go We, But without a rhythm or a rhyme, you do not banana all the time. Um, I could go for a banana, to be honest. I could go for any kind of fruit right now. Low-key craving strawberries, but I'm also kind of craving an orange. CBT. Well, Bean Man, if you would like, come on over and I can show you a thing or two. Now, I'm kind of curious. I, I gotta check this real quick because I gotta store my Digimon anyway. But I'm wondering if my little Vmon hack worked. Hey, it did. I could do a Vmon solo if I really wanted to right now. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But it's going to happen one of these days. I know that Hazard is doing one right now. Actually, you know what? Fucking hey, let me let me give Digital Hazard a shout out because he is my favorite DigiTuber here on uh, ye old Twitch. And he deserves the follows and the love. Why is he hitting his own guy? I don't understand it. I don't understand why he shot him. What? Yeah, no problem. No worries. Excuse me? I, what? I, I don't understand. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't even get to catch that clip because I was, like, reading chat at the same time. I could tell it was a World 2 clip. Was that the, um, the modded version? And hey, Digifool, welcome on in, my man. How's it going? Now, uh, let me catch up on chat real quick. Did I say strawberry? Yes, I did. You motherfucker, how did you know I got a strawberry whipped cream croissant from the str- Oh my god, don't tease me with that, dude. David Zerman interrupted from the dead. Okay... Um, so, I, I still don't know, like, all of the mechanics from that, but I imagine, like, he ended up doing something from the grave that ended up, like, fucking you up. Was that, like, a glitch, or was that, like... I don't know, man. <laughs> That's interesting stuff, though. The game is wild. All these old-school Digimon games are wild in their own way, I do argue. <laughs> But I love them. They've got charm. They've got charm that some newer titles do not have. Ooh. Oh, we can put two daggers, but it's probably more worth to do the longbow. Because look at that stat increase. Oh boy. I think I want to just save. We're at 92 strength already. Um, We can save till we get to Siryu City. And then we're kind of good. So there he was in New York, and boom, a big-ass rat. The rats are winning. The rats are winning, mean men. Speaking of rats, I found a whole bunch of free uh, rat folk slash Skaven models that I need to print out, like, now. As well as a whole bunch of, like, Nurgle demon models that I can print out to add to my, uh, uh, my plague demon army. I'm pretty excited for that. I'm absolutely, like, obsessed with, with my minis, as you know. And I cannot wait to um, finish my Nurgle army. I've got uh, two more Plague Bears I need to finish painting. 
and I've got my my big boy um, who's serving as the god Relg in my D&D campaign, but he's uh, uh, basically a great uh, unclean one. Um, I can't wait to get him painted up. I've got two like plague drones that I still need to paint up, but they're primed. One of them is base, and the other one I don't know what. The Whoa -ho -ho -ho! Thank you for the 500 bits, Bean Man. Holy shit! Um, by the way, I'm gonna give Digital Hazard um, uh, a vo another vocal shout out here because he's the one who helped me find out what sound to put with that GIF. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh man. Um, I'm gonna heal and I'm gonna try to see if I can take on some stronger boys. How many minis did I paint while I was on break from streaming? Well, Digifool, I think it's time I need to, to show it off a little bit. Hold on a second. Let me switch. Um, actually, I'll switch scenes here in a second. Let me grab the minis first. So, I got a hold of the minis, and I got a couple of other works in progress as well, but I've also, I also did up some terrain, which you'll see that here in a minute as well, because, um, again, there's a lot. <laughs> and my friend also painted up a mini as well, so give me a second. So, I'm not going to go into my drawer and get some of the other pieces, because it's kind of buried on top of paint but if we go to we'll go to the painting scene we'll go to the painting scene here real quick and camera should hopefully focus i don't care if it's like fuzzy on my end but uh first things first he painted up this owl bear mini um hey hoshi welcome in i hope everything's going well so anyways he painted up this owl bear mini which looks really freaking cool um, hopefully it focuses okay. Um, he is not the, um, practice painter as I am, but this is his first time painting in a couple of years. I'm really impressed with how that turned out. And he went with, like, a, uh, emperor penguin kind of look. So, I love it. Next one, I painted up this guy. This is a, um, a devil. Um, sorcerer, actually. Maybe if I do it like this. I'll show the Devil Sorcerer in a second. I'm going to put him on the handles. There's this mini right here, who um, is going to be the cultist for my game. The main cultist slash wizard guy. Um, I wish... There we go. It's kind of focusing. This is a work in progress, so I'm going to be doing gold on like the brown bits and doing the highlights up from there. And doing a little bit of a uh, fire effect on his on his base. <sighs> it's fucking set to 50-50. <laughs> it is. It is set to 50-50. Um, another one that I did was um, this low-level cultist. Um, there we go. This is one of the works in progress I started a long time ago, and I decided to finally finish him. Um, if the camera would focus, you can kind of see I did a little bit of highlighting, orange and yellow. I didn't really highlight the red, which I could, but I don't feel like it. But this guy turned out really well, and I especially like the base with the lichens and the, uh, um, woodland, wh whatever you want to call that, um, uh, brush right there. But yeah, um, that would be awesome if there was a 1% chance to triple. That'd be interesting. Spicy, even. And then I did up some of my Nurgle boy army. Um, I'll just show these guys as they are um, in a moment. I'm going to put this dude on the base just because it's a little easier with these minis. Again, this is the wizard that I did up. He's a devil, and I tried my hand at um, outside source lighting, which 
it worked out well on the horns, but I don't know how I'm gonna like do that on some of the other bits on him. So I'm just like, I don't want to ruin the model. I'm gonna keep it like that. I did a little bit of lighting effect on the base. Um, again, like it'll be so much better if it actually focused. Like, eh, maybe like this? No? Yeah? Damn it. Well, you get the picture. This is one of the minis that I've worked pretty hard on, and I actually did it a little bit differently. I did contrast paints only on him. Now, for the army that I'm working on, these are the Plague Bears, and these are probably the best ones that I've done in this uh, time, this little stretch here. Um, here's one of them. Again, I feel like it's going to have a hard time focusing, but I love how the eyes came out. I love how the skin came that came out. I like the bases, too. You know, I got a... It, the blood effects as well. Like, they look so goddamn cool. And one of my favorite ones. Is this... No, it's not that guy. It's this guy right here. We named him... Because... Look at his face. He's just sitting there. He's ready... He's so ready to fight. And he's just... <laughs> he's, he's ready to fucking... No, it's this one. It's this one. This is the guy who's ready to fucking go. Come on, focus for me, camera, focus for me. That doesn't want to focus. How very sad. Come on. I swear, this camera has moments where it, like, it wants to work, and then here we go. Here we go. See what I mean? His face, he's like, oh, he's ready. He's ready to fight. Um, now here's a couple of the other ones, um, I've got this one here that looks pretty cool, I love the flowers that I put on his base, and then the other one that I did that I like was, um, this one right here, and I got two more other works in progress of these guys that I gotta finish, and then I'll have all my plague bears done up until I print, either print more. Now, here's, uh, probably the best thing that I have produced, and it is this terrain board, this is a hell room. Um, that we had made for D&D. &D. Um, it's essentially a fire elemental plane, um, and this was the battlefield where the last fight in the dungeon, um, barring the boss fight, had taken place. I had to fight a fire elemental. I made two other bits of terrain that I put here. They're like giant um, tiered um, outcroppings, and then I had a uh, fire pillar as well. And I printed a whole bunch of fire terrain, um, like pillars that I could set down as like tokens, if you would call it that. And they would have to make a DC to see if they could get out of the powerful flames, otherwise they wouldn't be able to. But yeah, um, I made this. The bridge especially looks really cool. Um, really took like a, a tiered approach to it with um, like my friend, he carved out all this. And this is just made out of XPS foam. Uh, the pink stuff that you can get at, like, Home Depot. So, we produced that stuff and played an awesome D&D encounter with it. And that is the extent of what I painted over the um, long stretch. Um, and I do plan on painting much, much more. But yeah, um, hope you guys like that, now that um, <laughs> I had a little chance to show and tell. Um... <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Bean Man wanted to dance. You went to your cousin's the other day and he had cheese everywhere. Goddamn rat the entire time. Oh man. Hello to the Hoshi. Um, I hope everything is well with you, my friend. <laughs> Weird. No fucking way, indeed. Okay, let's get back to Digimon World 3. Um, we should be able to kick ass right now. I really hope so. Don't mind your silent lurking. I've been depressed for the past week. Still am and just trying to chill out, chill out. Yeah, no worries, man. I'll be honest, I've had a little bit of uh, mental health stuff the past couple of uh, days as well. Um, but the best thing I can do is just come out, hang out with friends, and just be myself. You know, do what you need to do. Chill, take things easy. And if you need anything, don't be afraid to send me a message. You know, I'm here to talk. Oh, you're Nat 20 Luck. Oh, I didn't, I didn't catch that. I, okay. Um, I kind of just skimmed. So, because you got a Nat 20, by the way, I will give you a free channel point redeem um, that isn't VIP. 
you are free to redeem that. You can cash that in whenever the heck you feel like. And if that means you want to see a new Digimon for Cyber Sleuth, sure. If there's anything else you desire that is part of the Channel Point Redeems, I will try my best. I think I know why my um, microphone is all fucky. A bunch of cords in the way. Or not microphone, my headset. Damn. What can I do for you? I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, Bean Man. Thank you so much. Enjoy the gift sub, uh, Hoshi, and um, enjoy the emotes as well. Oh my god, Bean Man. Your generosity is top tier. I appreciate it so much. Hey, Luminaris, long time no see. How's it going, my friend? I hope everything is well. <laughs> ho hum. Ooh. Ooh, I can do some training. I can do some training. I'm gonna do that. Pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. I'm doing well. I just got done doing a little show and tell of my minis that I painted in my long break. And looking at it, like, I finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if you count the one that my friend did. That's nine miniatures in the span of, like, a, a week. Been good having a good time playing some Xbox simulation. Hell yeah. Monkey. That's what we're doing. I think we really need to raise speed. I'm going to start off with that. We got enough, like, strength. I think we're good for a while. But Mon Mon, don't, don't fail on me like this. Mon Mon, don't. Mon Mon, don't. I'm cringing a little bit. Okay, I'm cringing a lot a bit. That wasn't good. Please tell me I have another power charge. Think you'll probably pick another Digimon from Cyber Sleuth? No worries, what's your pick? Appreciate it, boss. You've been feeling lesser and lesser motivated to do anything? Aw, oh, man. I, I get that, though. I actually... I get that a lot. In my... This is gonna sound really stupid, and don't think of this as, like, patronizing or, like, me trying to, to cure your, um, your problem or anything like that, because I really do get it. What I do whenever I feel, like, so down that I'm not motivated to do anything is I just start, just fucking do something. And once I do that thing, no matter how minuscule, it kind of snowballs into more things. So, like, you know, I've always got the desire to sit down and do something whenever I'm feeling depressed or, like, low motivation. And what I'll do is, like, okay, I got a little checklist of, like, chores that need to get done. Um, I'll, I'll start with a small chore. You know, uh, do the dishes. Or clean up my uh, my streaming area a little bit, or my hobby area a little bit. And once I start doing those things, it snowballs into something else. So, like, I feel a little bit more relieved, for example, whenever I, like, I get the laundry done, or I get um, the dishes done. You know, that's one less thing I have to worry about. And then I'll be like, okay, I'll sit down for a little bit, and I'll still, I, I, for example, if I'm still feeling depressed or low motivated, low motivation, I will force myself to do something. You know, whether it be watching a YouTube video or if I'm like doing something while watching a YouTube video, like touching up a mini, for example, or something like that. You know, I find that that'll snowball into me doing a full-on project. Like last night, I wasn't feeling too good. I grabbed one of my work in progress minis and I was like, man, this needs to be done. Um, and I started painting that. Over time, I finished the, the occultist guy right here. Um, you probably can't see him all too well because shit lighting and um, all that. But yeah, um, basically just start by doing something small and hopefully it'll snowball. And if you still feel like crap afterwards, don't fault yourself for just taking the time to just relax and, you know... If you're unmotivated, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself and remember that you're human. This happens to a lot of people. You're not alone out there. And there are people out there, like myself, 
I'm sure a good number of the community in the Discord as well are more than happy to hold a conversation with you if, if something goes awry. So, sending you much love, Hoshi, and, you know, I hope everything is well. And, you know what? Hoshi's also a streamer, by the way. He's a really cool streamer. Um, I watch him a lot whenever um, I am done with my streams, provided that he is online. Or I'll go pop in and lurk his channel every once in a while as well. Um, I'm going to go and give him a shout out. Go give Hoshi Unlimited a follow. Go to, go check him out Hoshi, over there. Guys, He's a really guys, cool dude. I really need help. I really need help here. How long is it coming? I'm coming. Oh, fuck! What? What? Holy fuck! I just took down all three of them on my own! Oh, Jesus fucking... Oh my god, I can't believe what I just did! Yo, that's so cool! That's good shit, man. Next to- oh, yo, One More Light is such a good song, too. Anything by Linkin Park and Chester is just so fucking good. I'm glad that there's another fan out there, you know? And... I, I also get the feeling as well, just keep on pushing, man. Um, I can tell you now, anytime that you do stream, it is worth it. Anytime you do anything, um, you know, if you exercise yourself, if you focus on yourself, all of that is worth it. It culminates into who we are, your, your successes, your failures. It builds you into a person that is worth being around. And I can tell you now, like, I, I'm not shouting you out because, you know, I, I'm trying to make you feel better. I'm shouting you out because you are a good person. You are a good streamer. You're talented. You know, you're an awesome chef. You know, I saw your cooking stream with, um, I honestly forgot what the, the anime or game you're trying to replicate that dish from. But it was so good, dude. It was so good. And you're talented. Remember that, Hoshi. You're talented unlike my little bitch of a Mon Mon who can't train his speed well. <laughs> I'm so disappointed and if we if we end up dying because of his low speed, I'm gonna be even more upsetty. But I think we should be fine. I think we'll be able to kill this Vegemon here before he kills us. Oh thank god. Okay. I need the heal though. I need to heal. Need another Patamon run? You can request that. It's not on the top of my priority list, but I do need to do the Patamon run before I play the Vmon run. Because... The Vmon run's gonna be a little special thing. I'm gonna try to do the Vmon run in one sitting, whenever I do that. And if I could do that in one sitting, A, I'll be really proud of myself, and B, like, it, it, but my strat going into that, I think I'll have to have Imperial German, uh fighter mode. I think that's my plan. Appreciate the shout-out, though. Just don't really think you believe in what you do anymore. It makes you laugh thinking you'd be more extroverted or positive. Well, like I said, if you need to talk about it, hit me up. Um, I'm more than happy to, you know, console, give advice, whatever the case may be. And, I mean, I really hope the best for you, man. Like, depression is a very hard thing to deal with. And I know a lot of people who have it. I mean, I'm pretty sure a good majority of the population, when you boil it down, has some form of it. And it's not fun. It's not fun to deal with. Um, but that said, I really do hope and wish for you the best. And, you know, um, I, I don't know what therapy looks like over there. Um, you know, that's always an option. Getting up and doing something to get the ball rolling is always an option. Just remember, nothing is ever the end. Um... I don't know where I'm going with this. Just, just um, keep on trying. Don't give up. And I believe in you. And like I said, I'm sure that there's many of the community that believes in you as well. So, sending you lots of love, Hoshi. I, I really do wish you the best. You're going to add Armageddon Mon to the list for Cyber Sleuth. Okay. Okay. We could do that. 
Let me uh, copy and paste that and add that to my uh, wild, wacky list of inflatable Digimon requests. Um, where is it? There it is. Okay. Now that he's on the list, I just gotta remember that for whenever I do eventually get everything <laughs> that I need to get. Ooh, congrats on the gamble all. GG. Rip on the nine, though. I need to stop getting ambushed. This Vegemon is giving me, um, giving me diseases that I do not want. Um, I might actually have to fucking heal now. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Have you been playing anything at all lately anyway? Um, I know that I haven't been um, around on the Twitch world in like 12 days. So I don't know like what's been going on with everybody. I don't know what everybody's been playing. So like if you are a streamer out there, um, hey, feel free to share, you know, what, what you've been playing on or off stream. Or like if you aren't a streamer as well, um, feel free to share what you've been playing because I'm I'm quite interested in hearing about that, you know, maybe it's a game I played or if it isn't you can Give me a couple of pointers of what you've been playing because fuck if I know there's a lot of games out there I Haven't really been playing much um, I've actually I started um, the newer season in Diablo 3 I made a demon hunter and um, I've been grinding up the levels, and I'm like level 43 or 44 right now. I'm gonna have to heal. Monmon's about to fucking die. I can't afford that right now. I've been playing Mountain Blade Warband. I've never played that game, but I had a lot of friends who played that in um, high school and into college. And it looks like a really fun time. Um... And from what I heard, too, there was, like, a Star Wars mod for it. So you can have these huge battles with a whole bunch of fucking, um, uh, Jedi Knights. Like, replay the battle of, uh, Geonosis. I think that's what the plan is called. Um, <laughs> in Mountain Blade Warband. Like, that seems so cool to me. Uh, I need to return. I need to return to the inn and heal. I feel like, fuck, there's a lot of games out there. It's a massive understatement. <sighs> you you could say that again, Digipool. <laughs> My backlog is so fucking large right now. I feel like I'll never get to it. And I know what you're thinking. Trey, you, you fuck. Why don't you play more Cyber Sleuth? Why are you going back to Digimon World 3? Well, for me, this is a comfort game. This is a comfort game, and I always go back to it when I feel like, yeah, there's, you know... I, I need to feel good about myself when I need to play this game. You know, playing Mon Mon is just... You're playing... Playing this game is just fun. Damn it. Ah, thank you for the hydrate. Oi. Guess it's something that's bothered you for a long time. You believe people that suffer uh, the most give the best help and advice. But you think lately you just feel like you needed the support. Boyfriend sponsored you the Persona 3 and Persona 4 bundle on PS4. Planning on streaming those. Yo, that's awesome. Persona 3, I hear, is one of, like, the best games. Um, uh, story and, like, emotionally. Um, I, I really hope that is a good experience for you. Because I know how much you like Persona 5. I, I haven't played 3 or, um, uh, or 4. But that's fucking awesome, dude. I will definitely try to watch if you are doing those. Speaking of games, have I been keeping up with the D&D and WotC debacle? I have. And as you know, I do stream um, at tabletop uh, role-playing on here with, with friends. And I, I'm an avid player and uh, a mini painter for the tabletop role-playing game scene. And the... Um, the constant backtracking from WotC on their OGL is something to keep an eye on and their language that they're using in their posts as well as their um, their legal documentation is important to keep an eye on as well that said um, 
I am going to be changing the name for the um, former Dungeons and Dragons streams that we've been doing. It is simply going to be called Tabletop with Friends, and I know that they said that they're not going to be targeting anyone who is uh, planning on streaming any sort of D&D content, but, um, you know, it isn't D&D content. It's tabletop RPG content that we happen to just play on Fantasy Grounds. So, you know, that's all I got to say about that. You know, maybe some of the uh, the monsters um, and and rules are similar, but they can't copyright rules. Um, they can copyright monster names and the like. But I'm not particularly worried about that. Persona 3 is edgy and dark. Loved it. Played it since year 13. Nice. Um, which which Persona 3 is that? The PSP? I, I think the remake that's coming out is uh, P3P, so Persona 3 por uh, Portable. I can't speak sometimes. My tongue do be getting tied. D&D Shorts on YouTube is putting together an expose on the entire debacle, and the third-party creators are thinking about creating a new TTRPG to move over. Yeah, a lot of um, uh, third-party creators like Cobalt Press are already making their own. Um, you've got Pathfinder 2nd um, Edition, which um, I haven't heard, or I haven't played, but I know that Paizo is a good company, and I've played um, a little bit of Pathfinder 1E. By the way, whose fucking idea was it to turn Mon Mon into a big pirate? Interesting design choice. But I think I'm going to be getting diminishing returns grinding here. How much money do I have? 734. I think what we do is we go to um, Siriu City. We get the quest to move on from there, and we just play the game. Portable, not FES. We want FES, though. Damn, Atlas. Well, at least we can play um, FEMC. FEMMC, if you will. Me friends are about to start a campaign at Pathfinder 2E. Do you plan on joining in, Digifool? Because if you do, I would like to hear um, any feedback on how the system plays by someone that I actually know. FEMC. What's your name in that, anyway? I know that the um, the male MC is Makoto Yuki, um, but what's what's the girl MC's name? Portable has a very sus relationship. Social links. Oy vey. Don't scare me like that. I really liked the um, one relationship social link that I played out. Arisato Minako. Okay, okay, that sounds familiar now. See, I'm forgetful of shit, and I will receive information and promptly forget it. Femme character dates an underage boy. Well, uh, yeah, that is kind of fucky-wucky, but aren't they all underage anyway? Like, they're all high schoolers. But, regardless, it's a high school dating sim slash demon controlling game i don't know man i like i'm not justifying it but like it's maybe i am justifying it by saying it like that but like i i don't know man i, I don't know the context of the relationship that you're talking about either but i will say in persona 5 uh royal um i did like the stories of the relationships and how they panned out at least for the one that I did play out. I played through On and um, uh, uh, Jokers. Um, fucking his name escapes me now, too. He's he's 10? Okay, yeah, that's, that is fucky, then. That is fucky. I mean, if you're showing the, the story between, you know, two 16-year-olds, a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old, a 15-year-old and a 17-year-old, like, it, in, in media, I feel like showing that, because that's when kids start dating anyway, is okay, but when you have a 16-year-old dating a 10-year-old? No, no, that's too much, but Japan... 
I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not justifying that, because that is a, a wild jump, but, like, holy shit. How old is Joker, anyway, in um, uh, Persona 5? Out of curiosity. Because I've always wanted to play out that um, relationship between... I, I think her name was Sai, the detective, and Joker. Um, but I know there's one hell of an age gap right there, too. Joker's 17? Yeah, that, that is one hell of an age gap. Hell, I don't even know how old some of the other characters are. I'd imagine that on um, and Ryuji being in the same class are 17 as well. Um, and similarly, I'd also imagine that Makoto in um, uh, Persona 5 is also 18 because she's an upperclassman, right? So... I'm gonna kind of play this guessing game real quick. Um, I would figure that Yusuke is older as well. That would be my guess. I figure Yusuke to be like maybe 17 or 18. I imagine Futaba to be younger, like much younger. She's probably 15 or 16. Um, Haru, I imagine to be younger as well. I'd, I'd imagine her to be 16 or 17. And who else could you play in that game? There's a catchy. He was in school, though, so he'd probably be same age as Joker, if not a year older. It's debatable in P4, P4, Risei, Naoto, and Kanji are in the same grade, but Kanji is 15 and the other two are 16. Oh yeah, that's true. You can be in the same grade and be younger or older. So, you know, you could be held back. As a matter of fact, we had a whole bunch of people in our high school who didn't graduate until the ripe old age of 24. Oh, God. Some some weird characters, that. But they gave it their best. I'll, gi I'll give them that for finally uh, ending up graduating. 24. Wait. Who's 24? I feel like I missed something there. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go and buy some stuffs. Oh my god. Digifool, what the fucking luck is that? Holy shit. We'll probably be that too. Pains of being dyslexic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I am dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Luminaris, for calling out me for being stupid. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I, I went from one topic to the other um, a little too quickly. That's that's on me for being dumb. Um, what did I get for weapons? I can't use the buckler, but I did get a bandana. I can get the tin mail, though. Uh, maybe gym suit. Nah, tin mail. We'll put that, and we will sell. Let's sell the longbow, get some money back. Let's sell uh, the buckler, because we don't need that. And we'll put on the bandana, unless... Wait a minute. Grandia with English patch and Sega back. Oh, um... Let me, let me see that real quick. Sadly, you can't. They're doing it on Fridays. You have to sit down uh, every other Fridays because you get your daughter every other weekend. Oh, gotcha. Unfortunate. I mean, it's cool, though, that um, your friends are doing Pathfinder. Um, I do want to try it out. Um, I know it's not something I would force my players into immediately, um, but we're kind of doing our own homebrew system in a way. I mean, the whole entire world is homebrew, and I do a whole bunch of homebrew rules anyway, and it, it, I mean, that's essentially how everybody plays um, what everybody calls D&D, um, which totally isn't what we're playing. We're playing tabletop uh, role-playing games, which is an entirely different thing, I swear. 
Um, speaking of which, I might actually go and scrub all of my old VODs on YouTube, as well as Twitch, and just rename those. Because I am moving forward with just Tabletop with Friends. Uh, let's get the quest. Hello there. To Protocol Ruins. So we go to Protocol Ruins, we take down, um, Pharaomon. You're playing D&D, you're playing with insert generic tabletop RPGs. Um, Caverns and Cultists is what we're playing now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, you know, there's a lot of caves and there's a lot of cultists. You know, it's just based on location and, um, uh, wait a minute. Ooh, yes. I need these. Desperately so. Pheromon can poison us, and I think having two of those is going to be an immense boon. Also, we get Dino Buster. Dino Buster is going to be so good against uh, Master Tyranimon. Like, I argued that it's probably mandatory in order to do that fight. But yeah, just like how um, other... Uh, what was it? Tunnels and Trolls. The other Dungeons and Dragons variant. Um, what are other fun ones that you could do? Mind flayers and mosaics. I don't know. Um, fiends and forests. Got a lot of fun ideas you can roll with for that. Bunkers and badasses. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about that one. And they played that in uh, Tiny Tina's, um, what was it, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, right? That game looked like it was fun. Never got into it because I was and will probably forever be too broke to buy it. And too much of a backlog. That's the more important thing. Cobalt's and Kitchens. Speaking of Cobalt's and Kitchens, <clears throat> buckle up for this shit. Remember the D&D prep stream where you guys sat down with me and we ended up prepping a whole dungeon? Well, the players are about to finish that, and um, they came across the Cobalt Kitchen, and, of course, my friend Ari loved it. He fell in love with these Cobalts, and shortly beyond that, um, they ended up say, uh, saying um, their bedtime stories, and, you know, they rewarded the party with magic beans that gave them some, uh, some healing. So... Party eats them <coughs> senzu beans. They heal up, and um, they move on deeper within the, uh, the, the the dungeon. And in the next room, there's another kobold who's sitting there on a on a chair in his own little private study, and he's like the wizard's apprentice. And the wizard's apprentice is quite nice, actually. He's uh, welcoming. He's very hospitable. He answers all the party's questions, and he directs them on where to go. But in the same room, there's a uh, um, a closed door that was hiding an invisible stalker. So the party's like, "What's beyond that door?" He's like, "Well, the master never told me to open this door, but beyond the other door, you can find the portal to the vault that you're looking for." Well, this wouldn't sit well with the party. <laughs> like how the monkey becomes a pirate. I know, it's fucking weird. <laughs> the evolutions for the um, the game-exclusive Digimon in this game are so strange. Especially Dynahuman. But, eh. It's a Digimon game, I'm okay with it. I, I'm so nostalgic for Hookmon, Dynahuman. Well, actually, the only one that does make sense probably is um, uh, Kumamon's line. This makes a lot of sense. But I digress. Um, anyways, so they're convincing this um, kobold. No, what if you open the door? You know, you, you'll never be a good wizard um, or as, as knowledgeable as you could be if you just leave that door sitting there. And of course, this is the eloquence uh, bard. Um, and he's rolling natural 20s, almost, or unnatural 20s, rather, on each of his persuasion checks. So I make it a little challenge, um, of course. A couple of rolls will get him to, to be convinced to go and open the door. Well, he goes and opens the door, and 
nothing happens. It's just a blank space, and the party's like, ha ha ha, no, uh, no shit. Of course it's nothing. See, if you didn't open it, you know, you would have been curious about this your entire life. Cobalt goes to sit down, and he says, well, that's, that's okay, but I hope the master doesn't kill me for this. That's whatever. Fast forward a little bit, they go into the uh, mother room with the portal, they go to their vault, whatever. And they get back and they see that the kobold had his throat slit. And they're like, oh my god, what happened? We we killed the kobold on accident. And they're like, no, 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 there's got to be something in here with us. So now they're on edge. They move on back into the room with the, uh, the clan of kobolds that were sleeping in their little tiny beds. All their throats were slit, they were all dead. Of course, um, the bard wanted to steal the baguette, the magic baguette. There was a plus two rape here the entire time. So he fucking yoinks that. And my friend who's playing a kobold in game, he's pissed off because every single kobold that they end up meeting is, is dead. So now there's an invisible stalker running around the dungeon, stabbing everybody in the back because he just fucking can. And everybody's sad because all the kobolds they meet die. An unfortunate consequence, but they convinced him to open up the door. That's on them. Okay, so worst case scenario, we end up blasting during this encounter. Um, seeing as we're already freaking poisoned. Um, I also probably should have trained up a little bit before doing this. We'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, normal attack. How much damage does this do? That does 187. That's not looking good for us. We got 900 of these. Um, hopefully he doesn't do his little Necron Mist there. I call it a Necron Mist. I've been I've been looking up too much Warhammer 40k shit. Uh, 187. If he crits us, we're dead. I'm gonna go for the attack anyway. Good, good. <laughs> 110 damage this is not going well for us um 187 again I need to heal oh yeah your friend has made you an NPC in his insert generic tabletop RPG name here well no, I'm fine with talking about the fact that I have played um Dungeons and Dragons locally you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull the rug underneath my players and um, you know switch to a different game. Ah oh, fuck! I've only got one more antidote disc. Guys, this run might already be over. Ooh, we can attack again. That's good. Look at me just screeching like a monkey <laughs> when I could attack twice. Ah, necro missed again. Ooh, we evaded. Ah, let's attack. When he asked about your luck when you rolled an 18 on the graduate age roll, the net 20 was the luck check for the stream. Absolutely was, especially for you. Cursed king of milk. Oh, boy. Of course that's your NPC insert, Bean Man. Of fucking course. Uh, if I take 187 again... I can attack right here, and I think I'll be fine if he doesn't evade. Okay, good. Nice, we crit. We just can't get crit ourselves. Please don't crit me. 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 Okay, we're good. That's just... I'm praying. I'm praying to gods I don't believe in. 26? It would have been funny if I just said one. I would have actually laughed. I would have cry laughed, is what I would have done. But no, we're gonna be fine. We're at 112, we're poisoned. Um, I think... Let's see. We've got six more of these power charges. I think we just need to hold on up until we blast as evolve. I think we'll be fine, though. Maybe should have been a d20 roll. Maybe. Jesus fucking Christ! 209 from the poison? Only way I think this could work out for us is if we go twice in a row. 
We got a lot of heals left. Let's hold on to that. Oh, I'm past six. I'm seven, dude. I'm seven right now. I should have went back to um, the inn and trained, though. That's the one thing that's kind of screwing me over at the moment. But you could tell I wasn't using my thinker. Also allowed you to pick some NPCs. Quirks, to say the leadest. The, the least. Leadest. God. So, with the me not thinking thing, there's a song by a band called Psycho Stick called Thinking With Your D. And the entire time it's just like, thinking with your dick, thinking with your pecker, thinking, 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 thinking with your dick. And that was in my head the other night because me and my friend, we were just sitting around listening to that while we were crafting. And then it's just it's just funny the impression it made on both of us. Yeah, we should be blasting here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, calculated. Fucking calculated, dude. <laughs> Oh, I know I'm still poisoned, but this is kind of important. This is kind of super important. <laughs> oh, man. That got my dog's attention. He just looked over at me like, what the fuck are you on about, human? Oh, oh man. Calculated. Professional gamer move right there. And we're level 8 now. Nice. That's some stats to train off of, if I do say so myself. Oh. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. We got the old wand. Cool beans. Speaking of beans. Um, like, he cries milk. He'll give them a bag of holding that's just full of milk. And if they kill him, he drops the bag and it spawns out of it at night. Oh, man. He doesn't die. It's just... It's just milk. We're good to fight it now, dude. We're good to fight it right now. Like, I'm ready to go. I just... I need Dino Buster. And I think I get that at level 10. <laughs> this die is weighted. You say that. You say that. And your luck has been, like, really fucking good. I don't know what it is. You're just talented. Hey. Level 8. So two more levels and we will probably have Dino Buster, I'm hoping. That'll make the Master Tyrannomon fight super easy. Yes, I would like to challenge you. But before I go fight Master Tyranno, I need to fuck off and go to train. I think I need speed. I think I need speed to do this well. He's always not hostile, but he'll say stuff like you have brittle bones if they hit him. You need calcium, eh? <laughs> Please tell me he's just a skeleton as well. Would you like a pumpkin spiced lobotomy? Dude. I need to make this a character now. I need to make a sentient skeleton. I've already got, like, um, a couple of unique characters. We've got a Dragonborn Exile from his kingdom, who is an illusionist dark mage, slash necromancer. Um, we've got um, a tiefling who um, cannot be trusted. Hey, we're level 9 now, too. Holy shit. He's milky white. <laughs> and his clothes are calcified? Clothes? Clothes? Which one would that be, Bean Man? Everything is calcified. Need some milk for me bones. I'll be honest, I'm getting a little hungry right now. And I'm kind of holding on till um, later. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to end up eating at like around 6 o'clock-ish is what I'm guessing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to eat though because the milk in the fridge is bad. But I might spend like $5,000 and crack two eggs open. Which, um... That seems promising. Make a little egg sandwich for myself. So I tell you this, but your Hookmon doesn't... Oh, my Hookmon doesn't get Dino Buster? 
Are you playing me? Are you playing me for a fool, Digifool? I'm gonna cry. Bugbuster! Bugbuster! Well. Time to train. <sighs> I'm so sad. Because I know after a bug buster, he gets a big shot. Is that an armor mod ability only? Well, it doesn't fucking matter. All I need to do is go back to town and get a little bit of an upgrade. A little bit of a, a, a training session, raise my speed a little bit. Could raise my attack too, but no, I, I need a hardcore speed right now. Like... I'm less than a hundred. No, I'm at a hundred, I think. I level 45? <laughs> I'm almost level 10. I'm almost level 10. Nah, I'll be fine. I can train like two, four, six, uh, three? I can train three, um, ten training point sessions right now. Which isn't bad. A bugbuster time. This would be good with, uh, Hercules Kabuterimon and, um, Okuamon, right? I think that's what it's called. I also can't drink milk because cursed man. I can't drink milk. Mine is spoiled in the fridge. It went bad two days ago. I need to dump it. That's the thing I hate about milk. It seems to go bad, like, the quickest out of anything in the fridge. And I never have enough time to drink it all. Like, I always tell myself, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat cereal all week. And I don't. You get level 20 and then enough DV XP to level 45, which means my mod mod would probably be like 26. Yeah. Yeah. It's a rough life for me. I wonder how much XP I need to get to level 10, though. Like, I got two, um... No, I got like three levels. In, in Protocol Ruins alone. We kind of just kicked ass there. I'm happy with that, though. We've made good results. You always have milk. What kind of milk, though? Milk milk? Or, like, milk from a different animal? Or do you have, um... Oh, uh, what is it? Almond milk. I've never tried that, but I've... Or soy milk, one of the two. I've heard those are disgusting. I, I'm spooked to try. This is the training gym. Fuck yeah. It is the training gym, bud. Let's jump rope. How does one milk an almond? I don't fucking know. 10, 676? Oh, shit. We're almost there, then. How dare you, Mon Mon, you useless piece of... Do it again. Do it again, or Lot Mon will shoot. Do it better, or Lot Mon will shoot. Good. Succeed. Succeed better. More! More! Okay, I'm satisfied. Let's train strength now. Over 200, that's good. He's also got a lot of defense. I'm happy with how his his build is turning out. He's gonna be a fucking... He's gonna be beast. Look at him go. Look at him go! He got the message. <laughs> you make it nut. Oh, man. That 19, though, that's a good roll, too. Um, I think my stats are good enough... I think they're good enough that I can... No, I didn't have enough, uh, 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 points. I didn't have enough points. We'll be fine. Actually, I think I'm gonna go and buy some stuff from Gomamon before I go and fight Master Tyranimon. You'll do well now. 
the dice don't lie. Ugh. I think I'll do... I think I'll do okay. I think I'll do more than okay. It's a matter of evading and having enough items to to survive. In a worst case scenario, I can just blast it evolve again. Maybe. But that's why I want to go and pick up some more um, accessory, or an accessory rather, from Gomamon. Don't know what yet. I think I've got enough speed, so I don't think I need to up that. Yeah, I mean, the dice did say I have good luck, but... It doesn't hurt to over-prepare, as we've learned from Patamon. As we've learned from the potato. Um, let's go here. I need healing. You and your friend spent a long time designing this character. I spent a long time in the car the other day doing some world building with my friend. Um, because he made a dwarf that he played for the two sessions that he could play for in person. And, um, we fleshed out his entire home of Ker Keres. Um, which was basically a industrial communist uh, dwarven city. Um, interesting stuff. Shit, I don't have enough money for the guard gem. Boost gem? 1500? What the fuck? Um, I could do that. He does flame attacks on us. I could just get this and then spend the rest on... Um, uh, power charges. I think I'll do that, actually. Because if we get hit by a uh, Master Flame, that'll probably end up doing a lot of damage. And then one of the things I do need to get as well, we got the Awake Ring and the Revive Ring. Revive Ring's gonna be handy in the later game, but first off, let's get the Flame Ring. Let's equip that for now, and then I'll buy some power charges. Maybe later we can buy some more stuff, but this is a good start. Anything to take less damage to is fucking Master Flame. And I'm okay with that. Power charges are gonna save our ass a lot. Potato Mod needs a net 20 on 5 consecutive checks for an okay run. <laughs> it's a good thing we're not doing a Potato Mod run for a while. Actually, right now... Right now, the list of Digimon that we need to run this game with... It's just Monmon Mon right now, and then Gilmon, and then we don't know who we're going to be doing after uh, Gilmon. Because we failed the Patamon, we failed the Kumamon. And I honestly forget what we failed Kumamon. We were doing pretty good. I think we are actually about to get to Amaterasu server. Because I... Was it against Datamon that I failed? I don't remember. It's been so long. I think I failed against Datamon. I think we got crit or something stupid, and I was just devastated. Yeah, the luck isn't there. He wants to do a funny campaign in a lot of years. He asked for help with a few characters. Well, Bean Man, maybe one of these days we can shoot the shit and do some... Uh, um, sitting down and plan some some D, &D characters and or uh world building stuff i'll stream it too if you're comfortable with that i like the idea of doing uh world building collaborations that way you know two heads are better than one when it comes to world building and honestly the more the merrier as well like i i'll have like the final say for most of the things but having ideas to bounce back and forth um it, it really makes for not only a lucrative conversation, but just a good time in general. Why the f fuck did I heal? I did not need to do that. Dice rolls have been pretty accurate for the most part. Yeah, read the fine print right there for the most part. You fool! See, that, that pit in your stomach, when you know you're hungry, it's just growing, and it has expanded, like, threefold since I mentioned it last time. But my resolve is strong. I'm not going to eat until later. 
Oh, we should be close to leveling up again, too. Man, Mod Mod's level curve is actually pretty quick. Because he rolled the wrong die. True. True. Well, this beta mon is pretty beta, if you ask me. Going down in one hit. I think, like, what, 10 more XP and we'll be there? Oof. Rip on the six. Wait, Beanman, how uh, how close are you right now to VIP? Like, how many how many points do you have? Because I'm pretty sure Tugboat does have more than you. But, um... I know you got a lot. <laughs> no seducing dragons. God, I hate it when the bard does that. Hate it. Monmon actually has the fastest level curve of all eight. Shit, I thought it was Patamon. I am glad that's the case, though. 16.8k right now. Damn, man, you're getting there. You're getting there fast. You're chugging along, dude. Got 81 bits. Um... I could get a guard plug? I mean, anything to really just help me against that uh, Master Tyranno fight. I mean, if I'm living, that's even better. Sixth place with Agumon? Shit. Um, let's do this, and then can I even afford a guard plug? I can. I can buy one. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting fight. And yet, I don't have enough bits to stay in the freaking inn. I think I'm too poor. Yeah, I'm too poor. I'm a broke-ass bitch. Can I sell something else? Only one slower than Agumon Patamon is Kumamon. Oh yeah, I know Kumamon's the slowest. Okay, we got 15. No armor. No accessories. Damn! I can't do anything here. Damn it. That's, uh, the side effects of being a broke-ass bitch. Okay, let's, um, let's fight something. Let's fight something. Hopefully it's a Yanimamon that we can just bug buster and then go back and heal. Hey, there we go. Yep, yep, I'm fighting a dragonfly right now. <laughs> Come on, game. Why must you spite me like this? I will say, like, despite the 3D, like, modeling, the shading that they've done on these models is so good. Like, the shading on, uh, Yanmamon's mouth right there, like, it, the entire body even, like, it looks so good. I could, I could probably paint these as minis. Oh yeah, that's true. Wait, that means I've got Wingmont Buster for Erdramon. Which, wait, would that work? That should work, right? Okay, yeah, we got enough bits to fucking heal up. Yeah, uh, Wing Buster should work against Air Drummond in theory. Just wait till we get Fish Buster. Fish Buster's gonna be really good. Are you shitting me? Like... Logically speaking, Erdramon has wings. Oh, fuck it, if a Digimon has wings, you should be able to fucking use it. My disappointment is immeasurable, my day is ruined. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh, I'm just also noticing that my mouse has been on the screen right there the entire time. I'm sorry if that's been annoying you guys. I am so sorry. With my uh, totally legit PlayStation that I have right here. Draymond Bruster also works on Questlemon. It's not even a Draymond. What in the cinnamon toast fuck? Like, I can see it working on Machine Dramon. Imperial Dramon. What other Draymonds are in this game, too? I know there's no Vidramon. Uh, do I grind? 
<laughs> do I grind for TNT first, or do I fight Master Tyranno? I'm gonna run a quick poll. If I can fucking spell poll. Um... All right, poll time, one minute. Let's see how you guys do. Machine Germain, actually he needs Cannon Germain's finisher. Shit, dude. See, I learn shit about this game every day. We got one for grind for TNT. I think that might end up being the case um, because we will get extra XP. I am just worried how much damage, um, well, no, we'll be fine. Look at how yoked we are. Look at how yoked we are. Yo, yo, I just had a super cool idea. So you see the anchors on, um, Hookmon's shoulders? I want to paint up, like, a Space Marine chapter and just call it the Hookmon chapter. I totally want to do that. And just make those anchors as their decal. Why haven't I done this yet? Okay, yeah. So, we're gonna grind for TNT real quick. And if it takes one fight or seven fights, we'll see. Kandramon, which is a dinosaur, not dragon, has a finisher that deals massive damage to machine Digimon. Shit. And there's a lot of machine Digimon towards, um... The end of the game? At least in a couple areas that I can think of that you can find a lot of machine Digimon. Um, well, yeah, in the AOA, like, they've got fucking... <laughs> we got tank ball, or TNT ball already. That's funny. Okay. I'm gonna just burn a heal here. And we'll fight the lad. We'll fight the boy. Yep, Dum Dum Factory for sure. Um, but yeah, everyone in the AOA has, like, Tankmon, Garjermon, um, I'm pretty sure they got one Dark Digimon, but, like, we're, we're gonna be in a good spot for late game, I'd imagine. Fucking Monmon is, he's stacked. In the AOA, and you think the final boss is also Machine Digimon? Galacticmon's full-on machine? I thought his resistances, though, are, uh pretty high towards like everything but it shouldn't matter anyways okay fight time though um a good master fire would probably kill but hopefully our accessory we bought will help fucking a <laughs> okay okay good start 112 damage love that 138 we should be able to attack twice though i think we've got the speed I think we've got the speed. Sure, Master Tyranimon, you can evade. I'm a pirate. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yo ho ahoy in a vest. Being a pirate is really badass. I forget the rest of the words. Okay, moment of truth. How much does Master Fire do to us? I hope that bought us a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. That's still a lot of damage. And I don't know if that crit or not. The, AO uh, the fact that Monmon has so many very specific attacks makes him really good for a solo run. Yeah, it's from Lazy Town. I know that. But Ailstorm did a really good fucking cover of that song. This run right now, devolving into Hookmon. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Okay, so that Master Fire did end up critting. For 450 damage, I think that's what it was. So, what was that? 252. Right? I need to do math. I need to do math. Hold on. Um, 252 times 1.5. Okay, 252 times... It can go up to, what, 2.5 times the amount of damage? 
E. E. That's not looking good. It will be fine. We'll be fine. Max crit at full HP. We'll be fine. Right, it's 255. If that did times two, that would have been um, a little bit more than 500, 510. Um, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, I lose right here. I don't think so. Well, that's what the eight ball says. I trust in it. If he doesn't fucking evade me. I've got enough heals anyway. Um, 138. I'm going to attack and I'm going to heal. A bit of a crit after a normal master fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just gotta hope to God he doesn't crit me. That's that's the thing. Like, what it does anywhere between one point five to two point five times the amount of damage, right? So, I mean, we're evading. We're fine. I'm flipping out over nothing. And then after this, we can just play the game. Let's go. <laughs> Master Tyranomon just jumps and assess explosions on me. Monmon. I uh, Hookmon. <laughs> Each and every attack. He's just sitting here chilling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard from a Dessa stream a long time ago before I started this game that it's anywhere between 1.5 to 2.5 times the amount of damage on a crit. But we're gamers. The crit mathematics don't fucking matter. We're good at this game. Wingbuster, let's go. We can load that now. We're already level 11. He stole some Triceramon's TNT balls. He stole his balls? Oh no. Oh no. Well, we avenged poor Triceramon's balls. It's okay, Triceramon. I get it. I mean, my dog Finn gets it too. Right, Finn? Right? I, I avenged the man who stole your balls. He's just looking at me, giving me a little bit of sass. You might actually be able to see him from here. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Is Finn being a good boy? Uh, I think he's throwing up right now. Finny, hey, hey, buddy, Are you okay? Uh, he threw up a little bit. Um, give me a second. <laughs> right as you ask if he's being a good boy. You okay, buddy? Hey, it's okay, buddy. Please, if you do so, do so on the not on the carpet, please. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. Ugh, that smells rancid. <laughs> Are you okay? Hold on a second.
All right, I have returned. And I found out why the poor Finny did um, hurl a little bit. Um, so, my dog, love him to death. He isn't the brightest crayon in the box. He had chunks of plastic in his uh, little mess there that he made. And um, it leads me to believe that he had gotten into one of his toys and chewed up the squeaker. And we didn't catch it. So, I don't think it's enough to be a blockage, but because um, he did take a shit earlier. And he's back to his normal self. Just his breath absolutely smells. Um, but yeah, he'll be fine um, if he does end up throwing up again later, which I doubt is going to happen. There's like a lot of chunks in there um, that were cleaned up. He probably got it all out, and if not, he's going to shit it out later. But poor guy, regardless. Um, I am glad that he's okay, though, and the mess wasn't too bad. It was like a very small pile act in reality, so... He's okay. He's a good boy, aren't you, Finny? Aren't you, Finny? The chat was worried about you, buddy. They were. He's like tilting his head every time I speak to him. They're worried about you, buddy. You okay? You okay, buddy? God, I love him. He's such a good boy. Okay, let's heal, and then we will fight Siryu Leader. Oh, he, he appreciates it. I would hug him myself right now, but um, I'm going to leave him be, give him a little bit of space so he can rest. So you're thinking the logistics of Vmon Solo Run, how Digivolving would work with it because of needing Omnimon for Imperial Javon Paladin mode. Yeah, given the rules, um, I could only go up to um, Imperial Javon Fighter mode. The dice say don't do it. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. Now, if I lose, then I will absolutely eat my words and shove them up my, my pie hole. Um, but we'll be fine. If anything, we probably could have went back to do some training, but even then, we don't even need to do that right now. Especially because right after this, we're gonna be able to fight Keith. Xvmon would be the only one you could do, because for Pelgermon, you need Stingmon on level 5. True, but that being said, I consider the Stingmon line, like, going up to Pelgermon, like, that's the only thing you can do. Um, so I wouldn't consider that to be cheating if I were to go beyond Xvmon. Now, maybe eventually I'll do a true run for that, but... For now, I, I think I would totally use Stingmon, get him up to level 5, get the uh, Paldramon, and then move on with my life. It is the only way. 137. Uh, we'll heal. We'll heal a little bit here. I feel like we should. That made the boy a little tired. He's he's sleeping. He's sleeping already. For Imperial Germani, you need Pell to level 50. So you only get X Vmon for a true Vmon Digivolutions run only. Yeah. Um, like I said, I would maybe consider doing that eventually. But um, for now, I would consider the run a success if I am able to complete it with Imperial German or Imperial German Fighter mode. Because each and every other Digimon, they get access to their, their ultimates, their Megas. Um, to have the run done on X of Emon only would be pain. I actually don't know if it's possible unless you grind to hell and back, and even then, your stats are going to be so low because you're stuck in champion form for the entire fight. I don't know if it is possible. It took many attempts, and I don't know how many hours I'm willing to, to grind up just for that. But again, something that we could see in the future. Now this, this is what Mon Mon should have turned into. 
but Hookmon? I will say, though, I do like Armormon's design. Actually, I love Armormon's design. And the fact you get him so date late, you can do the run with any Mon, then get V-Mon, then grind them to level 5, then ditch the first Mon. Well, I've also got the cheat that allows me to get V-Mon right from the start. So, that's probably how we'd play that, anyway. That's why I'm also waiting to do the V-Mon solo hardcore last. Ah, come on, man. Also, 8 months speed is, is killer right now. Do we wipe to 8 mon? Nah. Nah, we'll be fine. 170. One more good hit and we win. I might heal just in case. No cheating. It has to be replicable for everyone else, even on original hardware. I mean, it's not cheating. It's, um... Uh... Using magic to get a beloved Digimon onto your party right from the start. See? Not cheating. He's, he's fine. He's totally fine. He's only game. Why you have to be mad? A level 12. Nice. And see, Digifool? Easy mode. All I needed to do was kick ass and take names. Also, love the fact that my name is Fart Lord. Speaking of which, um, I wonder what name we're going to be giving Mon Mon. Of course, we can't give them that name for a while, but... There is no magic in this game, it's all technology. Then what do you call my SP? It's magic, it is a true magic build. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's spirit. It's just a stat. Um, okay, how about this? How about this? I'm working voodoo, okay? But not actual voodoo magic. It's like voodoo Mountain Dew with a kick. God, I'm so tempted. So fucking tempted to grab my, um, my pitch black that's in the freezer. I got one left. But... If I do drink that, I'm going to be wired for the rest of the fucking night, and I won't be able to sleep. Just say I hacked it in. I did no such thing. All I did was press Control-C, Control-V. I copied and I pasted. I played with the glue and scissors, so like I always do. I might have sniffed it a little bit too, but we don't talk about that. Hmm... Lucky Mouse. Can't stand the guy. Hmm. Teddy. Can never read that guy. Well, let's go to the terminal and see how we get blocked from going further. But hacking makes sense in the technical terms for the video game. I'm in. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's all we do in Cybersleep is we hack. Hack away. <laughs> oh, God. Dying a little bit. Gizamon. The Leaning Tower of Gizamon. Makes me wonder, too, if... if what is our um, HP curve on Monmon? Right now we're in the 900s, which isn't bad. And I think most other Digimon, too, are like in the 1000s at this point as well. So it might be on the lower end, but we've got so many options for other Digimon, I think we'll be fine. Favorite Digimon makes this part of the game take 25 times longer because of the 8 loot card shit. <sighs> don't even. Don't even right now. I love Gilmon to death, but... Fuck this segment. Um... As a kid, I remember this part of the game, too just confusing the ever-living fuck out of me. Um, trickster my ass. Because I didn't know how to read, so I would just fucking spam through dialogue, and I wouldn't know where to go. 
Now, you know, as an adult, knowing that, yeah, I can take my time. Well, I've also played through this part a thousand and one times, but we don't talk about that. Um, you kind of know where to go. I think the muscle memory is still there. I think we need to go to CRU first. Uh, excuse me. We go to the CRU first, and then um, Asuka City. Fight Keith. Make our way from Asuka City to um, the inn. Stop at the inn. The Gilman uh, will give us the card, I believe. We make our... No, no, no. He has tell us to go back to Sirius City. We go to Sirius City, get the fake card from that Gilman. Go back to the terminal. Get to the terminal. The terminal tells us, ha, you got pranked. After you get pranked, you go back to Sirius City. That Gilman there will tell you, oh, I don't know where my cousin is, but he's tricky. Maybe he went to go hide somewhere cool. And then you go back to the inn and you find him in the, uh, the, the basement. And then you go back. You talk to the terminal. You activate it, finally, after you get the real card when Gilman there is like, Hehehe, be careful. I might be tricking you, I might not. And then you fight Boldmon, and after you fight Boldmon, you're in South Sector, and hey, let's start another backtracking segment soon after you fight Zanbamon, because you need a fucking stinky herb to get right fucking past him, because he's a little bitch, and you need to go back and forth again 1001 times. And then finally, after you pass Zanbamon, you can go on to uh, 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 Suzaku City, a beautiful city of mine that you can only visit, like, well, you, you visit a couple times throughout the course of the run, but um, the main point is Gilman's not here. We need to keep on going, I think. Bulmon is a little bitch. But uh, more onto my tale. You go to Suzaku City, you fight um, the leader there. That leader uh, teleports you back to... Um, Oh god, what place? Back to Asuka City, where you have to do an infiltration mission, where you need to find, um, more fucking shit. Go back and forth to find Edamon again. And then after you do that, you gotta go, um, back and forth one more time to find out how to get to the Digi-Egg. God. The backtracking, I swear. West Sector isn't so bad, up until you have to do the, uh, the, the Datamon bullshit, going back and forth, um, from, from Asuka City doing Staff Pass, and that's, that's a painful segment. And then after that, the game just kind of opens up, you can go underground, and that, that makes things a little bit easier, and I know some of the shortcuts, but I'm probably gonna have to pull them up again. But yeah, that's, that's Digimon World 3 summarized. Backtracking central. So much in this game. It's fun, though. When you're actually playing the game. And, like, the story's simple, too. The locales look pretty. Pre-rendered backgrounds are fucking amazing. The sprite work on the Digimon is also amazing. It blends in with the scenery so well. Um, the battles, like, if they update this game, give me a fucking fast travel. Update how the battles look. Maybe update the battle mechanics, too, and incorporate some sort of um, uh, virus um, data vaccine and null, like, typing. Maybe some uh, Cyber Sleuth um, elemental typings as well. And you're golden. You're golden. You got a solid game right there. And, like, maybe add a little bit more post-game, too. Keep the story as it is. Just add a little bit more post-game. Have to talk to the one specific person, Phoenix Bay, to find the Crest of the Shrine? Yeah. Like, they don't even tell you to talk to that person, either. I, like, those those segments of the game. Um, Gilman and the 8th loot card... Um, the Digi-Egg, and getting into the Shrine, the Sepikmon, the Edamon quest. Like, all those, as a kid, I was stuck on for so long. And, like, Staff Pass wasn't so bad, because they tell you, yeah, go... Well, no, they don't even tell you to go where you, where you find, um, uh, Nick and Keith leading up to that. Like, this game is pain. 
I'm pretty satisfied that we're an hour and 46 minutes into the run, and we've already taken down Master Tyranno. I might need a little bit of healing, or not, blah, blah, not healing, training. And what do I want to train? Speed! I'm going to train speed. And with 15 points, I should get speed higher than 300 if he succeeds. Remember, Lotmon has a gun. He'll fucking shoot. Don't fail on me now. Come on, 300. Let's go! Let's go, 317. I love that. I love that. I might actually train strength next time. I don't know how much our big boy crossbow that we get um, in the later areas gives us, but that's also worth checking out. Also, hey, Dizzy Fool, when is our first auction? Out of curiosity. Because that'll indicate to me when I should go and actually um, <clears throat> legally make my other Digimon charismatic so I can sneak into a place and then sell the stuff and then shove them back in their fart box. I mean, what? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm only using one Digimon this entire run. 145, not bad. Could be better, but at least we got speed. He, I don't like that amount of damage that he did, though. I should be fine. <laughs> oh, bless me. That blindsided me. And that even woke up the dog. Poor guy. Ugh. Every time I sneeze, someone has to subscribe to the channel. I mean, what? No, don't do that. The staff pass like my mom's masks. The two digi eggs, Edamon's mic for Dual Island. Somebody thinks they don't tell you where to go. Oh god, Edamon's mic. The legendary cards, especially. But I kind of like that. I kind of like the fact that they don't tell you where to find the legendary cards or the legendary uh, weapons. Um, I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. Just don't ask me why, because you guys fucking know why after seeing that. Anyways. <laughs> um, if they did end up remaking this game, I really hope that they make the Armor Digimon a actual fight for the, uh, the items. And if they do end up making a system where there's actually typings involved, it'd be interesting to see how much more difficult those fights could possibly be than the base game. You know, that's something that actually interests me. A level 13. We can do more training. But yeah, um, it's right now for 800 bit. Yo. <clears throat> Time to up our charisma. I'm gonna do that real quick. Hey, K-Haven. Thanks for the welcome back. I hope everything is well. Um, first things first, I need to go and shove these guys out of their fart box for a second. But yeah, it's good seeing you, man. Um, how is it going? I hope that, uh, some of my, my little, um, suggestions, right, in the, uh, Discord ended up helping out at least a little. You're seeing nothing, by the way. Chaos Mon for, uh, Cyber Sleuth? Wait, you might have already done that. Let me see. You did um, Chaos Mon VA. So Chaos Mon is an entirely different thing, so I will add that. Um, you should also be able to type in exclamation point list, I think. Um, and that will show you what has been requested so far. But I need to update that. Because I don't think I did since last time. No, um, what's the command? Is it current, maybe? Ah, there it is. 
Even though it's very poorly formatted, I need to fix that too. Um, <clears throat> we don't talk about that. Having a lot of fun with your D&D group. Lots of craziness, making it great. Nice. Very nice. Uh, fuck. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this first. Gilman? What do you gotta tell me? Blue card? I don't have it. My cousin has it. But he likes to nap, so make sure you go stop at the inn. Okay, again, you don't see anything behind my Mon Mon. These guys are just... They're fodder. I'd imagine everyone in the world has at this point. Like... I, I figure if even Moisty is covering it, um, it's being covered. Yeah, people have heard of it, rather. Um, fuck me, what am I gonna buy here? Um, well, I can afford daggers for everybody, so let's buy four daggers. Yes, 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 okay. Um, this is a significant increase. Ten. We'll buy two of these. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, I'm a hacker. The truth comes out. Um, we'll do two of these. And this should probably bring us close to the amount of charisma that we need. So let's go down there. And then we'll stick them in the fart box. I need more money to buy the item. Solution. Solution. I'm gonna sell all of my personal belongings. That's 20 bits, uh, that's, that's six, um, that's 20. Fuck it, I don't need that. I don't need that, okay. That's one problem solved. Okay, fine, I'll fucking grind, okay? Okay, you got me. You got me. Referring to the OGL. Yup. I could have swore there's another way for me to get some quick money. But. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Couple of Triceramon fights will be golden. Let's go. Yep, the 1.1 1 .1 stuff. I mean, OGL 1.0 is fine as it is, but bots here are greedy bastards, and yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Gotta love it. Gotta love big wig suit men. Well, yeah, I'd imagine also every D&D player there is is keeping up to date, and I would also imagine Watsy's just expecting folks not to give a shit. Ooh, Qualamon gives me 80 bits. I need a heal. I need healing. Considering we need 800, a couple more of those Qualamon fights will put us in a good position. Just kind of wish I had Fishbuster for this. If I had Fishbuster, that would make life so much easier. You know what? No, we need to probably see how much Triceramon gives. Because I used to primarily just grind Triceramon, but there's a, probably a difference between how much money I do end up getting. Vox Mach Machinations Season 2 today. Vox Machina. Um, I disagree. I started the first fight of the game with all of these nerds. This run is not invalidated, as I did not use them in the fight. Now, if I do end up switching to these other Digimon at some point, then I will just end the run right there. And hey, we got XVmon. Can't use them, though. That one is forced, though. I mean, true. But we're also not forced to use them unless we have to make a swap. The run is invalidated the second Agumon or Vmon comes out. Is that gonna happen? Fuck no. 
Fuck no there, bud. Critical Rules animated show about the first campaign. That's on Amazon, right? I need to sit down and watch that. I'd rather watch that than watching Critical Role, to be honest. I don't want to sit through um, all of their hours of campaign, because I don't really like watching other people play D&D. But that's just a personal thing. Um, I find it neat that people are out there wanting to watch my D&D content. Um, and, like, I'm doing that mainly because um, I just think it'd be fun. You know, showing you guys how, how we do things. But I don't even go back and watch the VODs after I post them. I do need to make the fishing rod, don't I? That means I need to go fight Dokugamon. I need to go and talk to the man. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Worry not, my friend. Ooh, I think I know what I want to eat. I think I want to make some ramen before bed. I think that's what I want to do. I want to make a nice bowl of, of ramen. I don't know if I want to do my extra hot um, uh, uh, shin, shin black, shin black rather. Or if I want to do um, my, oh, oh god, I don't remember the brand. I got this at Wegmans. It's a beef-flavored um, ramen that looks pretty damn fancy. <laughs> the stream Sim and his friend playing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just me personally, really. I don't, I don't really watch other people play it. I, I've tried getting into other campaigns. Like, I tried watching the first episode of Critical Role. Couldn't get into it. I tried watching um, even my favorite um, D and D YouTuber, or rather tabletop RPG YouTuber, uh, Matt Koval, and his campaign. Whenever he was doing that in uh, the chain, um, I just I couldn't get into it. And like I said, I, I can't get into my own VODs either. Like, I try replaying it, and I'm like, yeah, I could also be watching a mini-painting video and actually be doing stuff, too. <laughs> but yeah, I know, I know. I'm giving you a little bit of shit, too, here and there. I mean, I, actually, I'm giving myself shit. I'm giving everybody shit. You take a shit, Agumon takes a shit, Kunamon takes a shit, everybody gets a shit. Makes me uh, excited for when I eventually play Digimon World 1. That's the moral of that game, everybody takes a shit. Dimension 20 is a good series for watching TTRPG. What's Dimension 20? Give me a name, I might know who it's made by, but there's probably a good chance that I don't. Um, that sounds like a familiar name, actually. Does not mean that I know them. <laughs> Alright, let's go do the thing. Let me in! This one. One of these days, I'm gonna do a uh, purely card battle. I'm gonna do a card battle speed run. A hey, yeah, I'm cool. We tight, we tight. It's made of a college humor. Ooh, interesting. I feel like it would be very full of shenanigans. That's what it sounds like to me right now. God, I wish I had my... Uh, you lied to me, you bitch! There's no auction right now. But that's fine, I don't need these guys in the party because I got the, the coolness factor. So that probably means after... Um, Bulmon is the one that opens up again? That's why I'd imagine. Your 12-year-old daughter's in it and loving it. That's awesome. 
You lied to me by proxy, then. I'll ban you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I won't do that. I appreciate you for trying to help, though. I, 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 I really don't know... Um, what am I trying to say? I don't know um, those sorts of intricacies. So it might be like an outdated thing. Who knows? But I can shove these guys back in their fart box and I can come back to this wretched city of scum and villainy. Advance too far in for the blue card stuff for it. Well, the first auction is the hazard shield, right? I imagine that you can get that, um, I don't know. I don't know the mechanics for the auctions. Oh, it's a Patamon item. Okay. Well, I didn't advance too far into it. I just came here and I got, um, uh, the, the, the words are hard. I talked to the first Gilmon, that's all I did. So yeah, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe I did fuck it up. If so, I'll admit my fault. I will admit that I did wrong. Right, and that's coming up soon. Okay, well... Let's pursue our quest for Gilman. And we can go and train again, which I think this time I'm going to train... You know what? First one I see in chat. Do I, do I train strength or do I train speed? What do you guys think? I'm not going to do defense. Defense is for losers. It says, after you beat Syria Leader for the first one, it's possible that checking the station cancel... Ooh, okay. I see... Strength it is. And this should bring us up to around 300 something. It is not terrible, but I wish that we did a little bit better on that training. But also, once we have access to um, the black market, our shit's going to be even better. I love how crisp this looks on Duck Station. Oh, shit. I could also probably just run away. Don't you even right now. Don't you even. I think that's my goal for stream, though. If I can finish the Bulbmon fight, um, I'll be happy with the progress that we've made. I think this is the fastest I've actually progressed in a solo run. Monmon's just kicking it. He had a little bit of a rocky start, but now he's just, he's, he's doing pretty fine. 976, so next level we're actually going to be in the 1000 range. Luck for the rest of the stream. So you're telling me we're going to struggle with the Bulbmon, but there's a good chance we'll fail, but a small chance we'll do well. That is a big oof. That's fine, we'll succeed. We're cool. That's why we'll win. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna um I think I can hold on a second. Let me find my other camera here. I got the face cam going on. Where's my other camera? I wanna flash this over to puppy cam because Aha. Uh -huh. Look at Finn right now. Look at Finn right now. He's he's holding on to that pillow. He's got his arms wrapped around it. And he's just sleeping. He's just sleeping. He's being the goodest boy and he's just taking a big nap. I had to show that because he's just he's being pretty cute. Oh, 
I could probably stomp out of here, and he wouldn't be phased. And thank you for the redeems, by the way. I will hydrate here in a second with my um, abundant lack of water. Oh, boy. I might... Uh, I don't want to crack open the code red. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I got a two liter of uh, regular old Mountain Dew. <laughs> You'll buy all of them at the same time. You know what? I, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'm going to pour a little bit of this in there because that needs to be drinking up. There's, It's taking up way too much space. And it's not going to affect me as much as a... Uh, Full pitch black well. But yeah, thank you for the hydrate. Here's gonna be good to refresh, and I promise after the stream I will drink proper water with my ramen because it's salty as shit. Ugh. There we go. Ugh. Nice. About my mountain lightning from Walmart. Oh boy. Doesn't have that have a harmful chemical in it as well? At least that's what I've heard. I don't know what it is. I think it might start with like a G or something. If I'm a broke bitch too, and here I am. I bought two cases of pitch black and this shit's already gone. Shit's already gone where I live. But man, pitch black is the nectar of the gods. Also, I almost fucked up. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that. I I went to um, not go to the inn first. Now the question is, within 10 minutes, can I finish this segment? Probably not. But I want to fight Bulban tonight. Today, wh whatever the case may be. Gilman? How are you doing? He's in Siryu City, you say? Alright, alright. Livewire's the best Mountain Dew. <laughs> Livewire's pretty good. Pitch Black is pretty good. Baja Blast is the nectar of the gods. But, there's a flavor that trumps them all. And that flavor is the OG Dark Berry from 2012's Batman um the dark knight film that promo that flavor that flavor is gas straight gasoline fucking fire it's only goaded because taco bell is goaded i mean that's true but it's not dark berry i had the pleasure of having this flavor Probably, yeah, two years ago when I was collecting the cans like a fucking degenerate. Um, and, yeah, it, it was really freaking good. Um, Passion Fruit Frenzy is really good. I would, I've done a fucking Mountain Dew tier list. What am I on about? <laughs> um, let, me, let me see if I can find it, because I've got my top flavors. I've got my top flavors. Um, and I'll throw this up on st stream if I can find the proper tier list, because I did this on stream, too. I did it privately to Tugboat as well before that, but, um, intimidation check against me for saying Livewire isn't the best. Mmm, you fail. Nah, we'll see here in a minute. Yeah, I did a Mountain Dew tier list, but I'm gonna roll D20 as well, just to resist his, uh... Thing there. Ah, ah, ah. Fine, fine. I'm a little intimidated. That's all. Just a little bit. Not sure if anywhere else has it, but in Malaysia you have a flavor called Blue Shock. Yeah, I've tried Blue Shock. I've tried Blue Shock and I've tried the Pitch Black there. Really good stuff. Now, where in the fuck is my Mountain Dew tier list? I can't. F oh, is this it? This has to be it. This has to be it. No, it's not. That's a that's a D and D tier list that Ari did. Fuck me. Where did I put it? I'm so disorganized. Is this it? 
It is. It is it. Okay, okay. Let me throw this up real quick. Um, no, not game capture. Uh, image, please. I still love the fact I got Thor just chilling out right there. Um, we'll call that image seven, sure. And downloads, because I know where the tier list is now, I think. I think there we go okay my top flavors as you can see let's uh, let's make this boy a little bit bigger as you can see you got dark berry you got Baja and you got thrashed apple those are my s tier they're like in my god tier rather um, in my s tier <laughs> just about a scratch um, pitch black amazing flavor typhoon also amazing flavor the Voodoo 2020 tastes like liquid Skittles. Amazing shit. A Baja Punch. I wish I could have that flavor again. Amazing shit. Uproar. A, a fucking Kiwi flavor. Amazing shit. My A tier is pretty good too. You, know, you got uh, Frostbite, which I, I will go back to that and sip it fondly. If I can find it at Walmart. Um, Citrus Cherry. Good flavor. Purple Thunder. Good flavor. Voltage in OG. Do SA. Bring it back. A live wire, I did put up in A tier. It's not S tier. It's it's solid A tier. It's not bad. It's it's really, really good. You know, I got that up next to Baja hard Baja and next to um uh Major Melon. Major Melon's good. Now where we get dicey into the opinions territory. Code red. I, I'm not all about it. It's it's okay. Merry Mashup, same thing. Violet. Sangria Blast, Voodoo, uh, uh, I think 2021, not the greatest. Darkberry Bash, all the coconut flavors, still not the greatest. Blue Shock was all right, that's why I put it mid-tier. Cyclone, same thing, I wasn't all too thrilled about it. Mango Jam, yeah. Um, and then you get the Doodoo Kaka stuff. Um, Voodoo 2019, Voodoo 2022, not, not about it at all. Mountain Dew Ice just tasted like Sprite. Basic bitch Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew Legend, I've had that once at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. It's okay. Spark. I might, it, looking at it now, I might actually move Spark down into F tier. Impromptu fucking Mountain Dew time. Ever try mixing flavors? I did. I mix flavors for alcoholic beverages, and they're pretty good. Uh, Atomic Blue from a gas station, not great. And then the pineapple flavors. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not all about pineapple. And then, the never tried. There's a lot that I haven't tried. So, like, um, Pitch Black 2, um, OG Pitch Black. Like, all these flavors. Whiteout, I have never tried. Uh, t Cyclone. No, no, I did try Cyclone. What is it? Uh, Revolution. And then, like, you get into the trash tier. Anything that's diet. Liberty Brew is fucking trash. Flamin' Hot. Um, Gingerbread Snap. Like, those were terrible. Yeah. No. <laughs> Um, what's my armor class? Um, my armor class is a 37, so you can't beat that. No. Oh my goodness. Gim Gim the Beard. There's a Jim Jim the Beard. I want to say it was Gim Gim the Beard. It's been a while since I've seen you, man. Welcome on in and welcome on in, Raiders. Let me give you a shout out first thing foremost. There you go. We're just talking about Mountain Dew. Ooh, 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 come here, come here. Ooh, I've come seen here, this here. clip before. Ah! Ah! Get wrecked. <laughs> Your dew sword sucks. I am immortal. Well, how is Majora's Mask? Um, over every everybody over from Gim Gim's channel. I hope that went really well. Um, we're playing some Digimon World Three. Um, I am on a journey to get scammed, as any normal person would. I need to get rid of this clip, so they're so old. I need to get rid of some of my old clips, too, because people have, uh, recorded some stuff that I didn't even know was there. And yet, every time they show up on other people's streams, I cringe a little bit. <laughs> I cringe just a little. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm on a journey to get scammed and use my scammed, uh, credit card to jam my way through, get across a bridge, and, um, 
hopefully not uh, die against a Digimon that can drown the run. Speaking of which, if you type in exclamation point rules, you'll see what the rules of the run, but to put them simple, um, it is a solo hardcore challenge. I can only use one Digimon. Um, if that Digimon dies, I lose and I have to reset the game. Um, let's see. I can only use the Digimon within that line. So, like, for example, Agumon gets Greymon, which gets Metal Greymon, which gets um, other shit. Hey, Dragon Lord! Hello, I am back. You've set streaming up stuff. So, streaming stuff up, so when you get a bit older, you can start streaming. Yo, nice. I, I hope your stream journey goes quite well. It's quite a fun hobby. I love it. I love it. It, it lets me have my my social time whenever I can't really get it normally. So I'm debating if you should buy comfort food or not, since you have the money. I also need to cheer yourself up. Do it. Buy yourself something something nice. Don't go like too extravagant, but like, you know, what, what do you got near you, Hoshi? Let's let's settle this, and um, I will give you my uh, my opinion. Like Agumon wasn't the best example because of Skull Greymon and Black or Greymon. Yeah, true. Um, but at the same time, I'd also count those as um, uh, Digimon that I could use in the run. I would actually probably go and use that line. Um... Yeah, I, I'd probably go and use that line in the run right off the bat. I just know you need a little bit of dark tolerance, which you can train up and do. Go as simple as boneless wings of garlic rice and fries for $4. Ooh. Ooh. If you have sauce at home, too, you can cover those in any wing sauce. Or you can make your own. Go for it. Fucking grade A shit. You're making me hungry for my ramen. I told myself I was going to stop at around 6 o'clock. I can probably go for another, like, 15 more minutes and still be okay and make my food as I want. Um, but I'm determined. I'm really determined. I need to go and get my shit. I need to kill this bold mun. The wings are optional sauce. I always go with soy and teriyaki. Ooh. My mouth is watering thinking about it. I want some garlic parm wing sauce. Ugh. Oh, please. Sounds like a very reasonably priced comfort food. It's a good way to save money compared to buying normal food from the store. Yep. That is very reasonably priced. I mean, especially considering um, I got a chicken sandwich from Wendy's for dinner, and that's all I've really eaten today for, like, 12 bucks. But I did get a combo, and the rest of the food went to, towards um, my girlfriend's dinner, so I just wanted the sandwich. I wanted to try the mozzarella chicken that they have. They got, like, a mozzarella sticks and then a chicken patty um, and cheese on there. And my only regret is, like, I love bacon. I wish I added bacon on that shit. That would have been so good. In Malaysia, even $4 is a bit. True. The measurement of a dollar isn't um, accurate in other places. I do gotta remember that. Because I remember buying um, um, a dinner back whenever I went to the Czech Republic uh, many, 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 many years ago. Um, it was like a fancy, like, Italian restaurant. You know, they came out, they served it to us. Like, really good food. And the bill was like, I don't know, 2,000 whatever Czech money is. And I gasped for a minute, but then I remembered, oh yeah, the exchange rate is kind of shit. So it ended up costing me at the time, like, $20 out of pocket for my meal. I was like, oh damn. That wasn't bad. <laughs> well, I bought half a dozen eggs yesterday for four dollars. The price of eggs is crazy, right? That's why I made the joke. Like I could make ramen for breakfast and spend um, five thousand dollars on two eggs. Um, but thankfully, um, the eggs that I get, like I'm, I consider myself quite lucky because my grandmother has chickens, and I get eggs from her for uh, the the wonderful fr price of. Um, F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free, creditreport.com, baby. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. God, I'm so cringe, but I'm free because of that. 
Alright, let's go fight Bulbun. Let's go fight Bulbun. <laughs> it's free real estate. Yeah, we'll be we'll be quoting some old memes here. You know, I've quoted that song so many times, I need to actually make that a redeem of some kind. <laughs> free is freecreditreport.com still a thing. Bulbun's gonna kick my ass and now he's not. It is a thing. It is a thing. Holy shit. And that's a nice looking UI too. Freecreditreport.com. Tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your mom. <laughs> Those commercials are like ingrained into my skull. Your dad breeds chickens too. He can get eggs and meat. Nice. Yeah, my grandmother does chickens, and she also does, uh, she's got a cow. <laughs> she's got a cow who is aptly named Sirloin of Beef. I fucking love it. <laughs> I used to breed quails, too. Love experimenting with foods like that. Oh, I do, too. I love experimenting with foods, especially whenever I name them Sirloin of Beef. Um, percentage, I get my ass kicked by Bull Month. 13%. See? The turns have tabled. I need a rest, though. A genius, right? <laughs> I remember just laughing so hard at hearing the name. Just Sir Loin. He hails from the land of beef. Your girlfriend has chickens, ducks, geese, and a pig. That'll do, pig. That'll do. 42, not bad. Isn't that like the meaning of life or something? In, uh, what, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? 42. We got a lot of, uh, numbers and memes out there. You know, there's 42, there's, uh, 69, nice. Um, there's a 21. Uh, what else is there? There's, oh, when, when you go to kill somebody, there's 86. That's a good movie. <laughs> no, it's not the meaning of life. There's a lot of good movies out there. One of my favorite old classics is Pulp Fiction. I need to go and sit down and watch that again. It's been a hot minute. But welcome on in, Daniil. How is it going? Ah, Ambush, are you shitting me? Speaking of movies, I got to rewatch, um... <laughs> babe. Um... I got to rewatch um, fucking Army of Darkness with Bruce Campbell uh, while my friend was here. Like, I had to show him um, because I put on a, a playlist called Nurgle's Crusade Jams. And the first song that's on there is um, one of the, the orchestrated songs in that movie. So I was like, you've never seen Army of Darkness with Bruce Campbell? He goes, no, I haven't. So I was like, all right, let's fucking fix that. So I rented the movie. God, it's so good. This is my boomstick! You primitive screwheads! Ah, that's such a good movie. And then... Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of the quotes from it. Shop smart. Shop as smart. And, um. Klaatu Verata? No, no, no. Ah. Love that movie. Anyways, let's answer the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. Yeah, Bruce Campbell is the answer. Grandma has quail, so we got quail eggs every once in a while. And the best peanut butter cookies um, you had, your dad made of quail eggs. Ooh. I've never had quail eggs. I've never had any other kind of eggs than, than regular old chicken eggs. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Boldman. Challenge me if you wish to die. Ah, what is that? A Digimon? It's something. Quail is very fattening, but oh, so delicious. 
Same with Duck Fad. Same with Duck Fad. Duck Fat is like the go-to for uh, cooking shit. Nah, this isn't Apocalymon, this is Bulbmon. This is objectively worse right now. You're the one that's gonna die, Trey. No, I'm not. Look at that, 248 damage? Bitchin' how we do. Oh yeah, he does though. Especially like the little head up top. But nah, we're good. We're good, look at us go. We crit for 299? Let's fucking go! Oh. Th this might change my opinion on things. This might change my opinion. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Fucking what? I need healing. I need healing. And you know what's funny too? I still have my fucking um, flame resist on. Flame resistance. If you're French, I'm sorry. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I just need to shoot gun. The American way. Digifool. Digifool. What'd I tell you? Easy. This game is easy. I'm just... I'm professional. I'm a professional gamer. And I know how to play video games. That's all. I don't even need a water ring. I didn't even need the equipment I was wearing. I could've fucking soloed that too easily. Just last week he made some qu quail croquets, um, which is a recipe you've made since culinary school. Yo, Hoshi, if we ever meet up, I will pay you to cook for me. That sounds fucking amazing. Oh god, Gekkomon. This could be a run-end or two if uh, we don't kill him in one or two hits. Oh god. Please don't confuse me. Oh god. Oh, thank god. I need to heal right after this fight, just in case I run into another Gekkomon. Good. The only good Gekkomon is a dead Gekkomon. I mean, what? I didn't just say that, did I? I'm not, I'm not gonna commit Gekko genocide here. Okay, we didn't even use any MP. I'm actually impressed. Actually, we didn't even need to. We can just spam A and win. Alright. Let's go and heal, and... Damn it. Let's wait for the Shogun Gekkomon. I usually perform pretty well against him, but I, I will be honest, there is some performance anxiety here and there. But as I'm told, it happens to a lot of, um, a, a lot of guys and mons. Um... But yeah, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here, hope and pray there's no more Gekkomon fights. And if there is, that they drop the water... no. They drop ice power. I could use that more than the water power anyway. They drop an ice power. And then we'll raid out. Because I am hungry, I need to check work, and um... More importantly, I'm hungry. Excuse me. And let's go and save. The one time we can save. Yeah, I know Caesar Mon drops it. I had my uh, my Mons mixed up for a sec. Two and a half hour stream though. That's not bad for coming back for uh, the first time in a while. Also, rip Kuma Mon run. I had to have died against uh, Data Mon. I think I got crit. That's why. Your phone's gonna die, so good timing. Well, there you go, and you get some uh, channel points with that. Speaking of, we do have merch now. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can check that out. The link is right there, and just in case you missed it. There's another link to that right there. Of course, no, I'm not forcing anyone to get it, but um, there is stuff um, on the store with my dog's face on there. Um, if you do happen to get that, I will be donating those proceeds towards my local animal shelter, so that's exciting. 
if you're interested, here's our Discord here. Um, you are free to join the Discord. Yep, it's got Finny's face on there. This is uh, that exact emote. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, there's the Discord link as well. And if you are interested, go ahead and look, check check us out on YouTube. Um, I post the D&D VODs there and a couple bits of the challenge runs as well. Um, I think that's everything. I'm not going to bother with Twitter. I never bother with Twitter. Fuck it, I'll bother with Twitter. Just this once for you guys. There's the Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys for the amazing stream. Thank you, Gim Gim the Beard, um, for the raid. And if you guys are still around, thank you for hanging out and whatnot. Um, thank you guys for um, the amazing support today, the chatting and all that. It's always fun, especially since I first time coming back and fucking 12 days um not to mention um the subs from being man the gifted subs and the bits all that is much appreciated nice 65 nice 65 and is mr c wing live please tell me he is he is hell yeah he's playing some digimon story cyber sleuth as well so we will go and raid into him um, it gives some positive vibes over to the man, the myth, the legend. <sighs> My ramen's gonna be so good. And nice natural 20 as well. Nice natural 20. Um, unfortunately, your, your go-to for the free redeem has been done this stream, but I'll remember that for next time. Maybe. Cash that in next time. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go give Seawing a raid, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Out.